Phoenix is the capital and most populous city of the U.S. state of Arizona, with 1,626,078 people as of 2017. Phoenix is the fifth most populous city nationwide, the most populous state capital in the United States, and the only state capital with a population of more than 1 million residents. Phoenix is the anchor of the Phoenix metropolitan area, also known as the Valley of the Sun, which in turn is a part of the Salt River Valley. The metropolitan area is the 12th largest by population in the United States, with approximately 4.73 million people as of 2017. In addition, Phoenix is the seat of Maricopa County, and at 517.9 square miles 1,341 square kilometers, it is the largest city in the state, more than twice the size of Tucson and one of the largest cities in the United States. Settled in 1867 as an agricultural community near the confluence of the Salt and Gila Rivers, Phoenix incorporated as a city in 1881. It became the capital of Arizona Territory in 1889. Located in the northeastern reaches of the Sonoran Desert, Phoenix has a hot desert climate. Despite this, its canal system led to a thriving farming community with many of the original crops, such as alfalfa, cotton, citrus, and hay, remaining important parts of the Phoenix economy for decades. Cotton, cattle, citrus, climate, and copper were known locally as the five C's of Phoenix's economy. These industries remained the driving forces of the city until after World War II, when high-tech companies began to move into the valley and air conditioning made Phoenix's hot summers more bearable. The city averaged a 4% annual population growth rate over a 40-year period from the mid-1960s to the mid-2000s. This growth rate slowed during the Great Recession of 2007-09, and has rebounded slowly. Phoenix is the cultural center of the Valley of the Sun, as well as the entire state. Topic History Topic Early History For more than 2000 years the Hohokam people occupied the land that would become Phoenix The Hohokam created roughly 135 miles 217 kilometers of irrigation canals making the desert land arable Paths of these canals would later become used for the modern Arizona Canal, Central Arizona Project Canal, and the Hayden Roads Aqueduct. The Hohokam also carried out extensive trade with the nearby Anasazi, Mogollon and Sinagua, as well as with the more distant Mesoamerican civilizations. It is believed that between AD 1300 and AD 1450, periods of drought and severe floods led to the Hohokam civilization's abandonment of the area. After the departure of the Hohokam, groups of Akamal Oadam, commonly known as Pima, Tohono Oadam, and Maricopa tribes began to use the area, as well as segments of the Yavapai and Apache. The Oadam were offshoots of the Sobaipuri tribe, who in turn were thought to be the descendants of the formerly urbanized Hohokam. The Akamal Oadam were the major Native American group in the area, and lived in small villages, with well defined irrigation systems, which spread over the entire Gila River Valley, from Florence in the east to the Astraeus in the west. Their crops included corn, beans, and squash for food, while cotton and tobacco were also cultivated. Mostly a peaceful group, they did band together with the Maricopa for their mutual protection against incursions by both the Yuma and Apache tribes. The Maricopa are part of the larger Yuma people, however, they migrated east from the lower Colorado and Gila rivers in the early 1800s, when they began to be enemies with their Yuma brethren, settling amongst the existing communities of the Akamal Oadam. The Tohono Oadam lived in the region as well, but their main concentration was to the south, and stretched all the way to the Mexican border. Living in small settlements, the Oadam were seasonal farmers who took advantage of the rains, rather than the large-scale irrigation of the Akamal. They grew crops such as sweet corn, tapery beans, squash, lentils, sugar cane, and melons, as well as taking advantage of native plants, such as saguaro fruits, chala buds, mesquite tree beans, and mesquite candy sap from the mesquite tree. They also hunted local games such as deer, rabbit, and javelina for meat. When the Mexican American War ended in 1848, Mexico ceded its northern zone to the United States and residents of that region became U.S. citizens. The Phoenix area became part of the New Mexico Territory. In 1863, the mining town of Wickenburg was the first to be established in what is now Maricopa County, to the northwest of modern Phoenix. At the time Maricopa County had not yet been incorporated, the land was within Yavapai County, which included the major town of Prescott to the north of Wickenburg. 
The U.S. Army created Fort McDowell on the Verde River in 1865 to forestall Native American uprisings. The fort established a camp on the south side of the Salt River by 1866, which was the first non-native settlement in the valley after the decline of the Hohokam. In later years, other nearby settlements would form and merge to become the city of Tempe, but this community was incorporated after Phoenix. Topic: <laughs> Founding and Incorporation. The history of the city of Phoenix begins with Jack Swilling, a Confederate veteran of the Civil War. In 1867, while traveling through the Salt River Valley, he saw a potential for farming, much like the military had already cultivated further east, near Fort McDowell. He formed a small community that same year about four miles six kilometers east of the present city. Lord Darrell Duppa, one of the original settlers in Swilling's party, suggested the name, Phoenix. As it described a city born from the ruins of a former civilization, the Board of Supervisors in Yavapai County, which at the time encompassed Phoenix, officially recognized the new town on May 4, 1868, and the first post office was established the following month, with Swilling as the postmaster. On February 12, 1871, the territorial legislature created Maricopa County, the sixth one formed in the Arizona Territory, by dividing Yavapai County. The first election for county office was held in 1871, when Tom Barnum was elected the first sheriff, running unopposed when the other two candidates, John A. Chenouth and Jim Favorite, fought a duel wherein Chenouth killed Favorite, and then was forced to withdraw from the race. The town grew during the 1870s, and President Ulysses S. Grant issued a land patent for the present site of Phoenix on April 10, 1874. By 1875, the town had a telegraph office, 16 saloons, and four dance halls, but the townsite commissioner form of government needed an overhaul, so that year an election was held in which three village trustees, as well as several other officials, were elected. By 1880, the town's population stood at 2,453. By 1881, Phoenix's continued growth made the existing village structure with a board of trustees obsolete. The territorial legislature passed the Phoenix Charter Bill, incorporating Phoenix and providing for a mayor-council government, which became official on February 25, 1881 when it was signed by Governor John C. Fremont, officially incorporating Phoenix as a city with an approximate population of 2,500. In the 1880s, the arrival of the railroad in the valley was the first of several key events that altered the economy of Phoenix. Phoenix became a trade center, with its products reaching eastern and western markets. In response, the Phoenix Chamber of Commerce was organized on November 4, 1888. Earlier in 1888 the city offices were moved into the new city hall, at Washington and Central. When the territorial capital was moved from Prescott to Phoenix in 1889, the temporary territorial offices were also located in City Hall. With the arrival of the Santa Fe, Prescott and Phoenix Railroad in 1895, Phoenix was connected to Prescott, Flagstaff and other communities in the northern part of the territory. The increased access to commerce expedited the city's economic rise. The year 1895 also saw the establishment of Phoenix Union High School, with an enrollment of 90. 1900 to World War II On February 25, 1901, Governor Oakes Murphy dedicated the permanent Capitol building, and the Carnegie Free Library opened seven years later, on February 18, 1908, dedicated by Benjamin Fowler. The National Reclamation Act was signed by President Theodore Roosevelt in 1902, which allowed for dams to be built on waterways in the West for reclamation purposes. The first dam constructed under the Act, Salt River Dam No. 1, began in 1903. It supplied both water and electricity, becoming the first multipurpose dam, and Roosevelt himself attended the official dedication on May 18, 1911. At the time, it was the largest masonry dam in the world, forming a lake in the mountain east of Phoenix. The dam would be renamed after Teddy Roosevelt in 1917, and the lake would follow suit in 1959. On February 14, 1912, Phoenix became a state capital, as Arizona was admitted to the Union as the 48th state under President William Howard Taft. This occurred just six months after Taft had vetoed a joint congressional resolution granting statehood to Arizona, due to his disapproval of the state constitution's position regarding the recall of judges. 
In 1913, Phoenix adopted a new form of government, changing from a mayor-council system to council-manager, making it one of the first cities in the United States with this form of city government. After statehood, Phoenix's growth started to accelerate, and eight years later, its population had reached 29,053. In 1920, Phoenix would see its first skyscraper, the Heard Building. In 1929, Sky Harbor was officially opened, at the time owned by Scenic Airways. It would later be purchased in 1935 by the city, which operates it to this day. On March 4, 1930, former U.S. President Calvin Coolidge dedicated a dam on the Gila River named in his honor. However, the state had just been through a long drought, and the reservoir which was supposed to be behind the dam was virtually dry. The humorist Will Rogers, who was also on hand as a guest speaker joked, If that was my lake, I'd mow it. Phoenix's population had more than doubled during the 1920s, and now stood at 48,118. It was also during the 1930s that Phoenix and its surrounding area began to be called the Valley of the Sun, which was an advertising slogan invented to boost tourism. During World War II, Phoenix's economy shifted to that of a distribution center, transforming into an embryonic industrial city with the mass production of military supplies. There were three Air Force fields in the area, Luke Field, Williams Field, and Falcon Field, as well as two large pilot training camps, Thunderbird Field No. 1 in Glendale and Thunderbird Field No. 2 in Scottsdale. <laughs> Post-World War II explosive growth A town that had just over 65,000 residents in 1940 became America's sixth largest city by 2010, with a population of nearly 1.5 million, and millions more in nearby suburbs. When the war ended, many of the men who had undergone their training in Arizona returned bringing their new families. Learning of this large untapped labor pool enticed many large industries to move their operations to the area. In 1948 high-tech industry, which would become a staple of the state's economy, arrived in Phoenix when Motorola chose Phoenix for the site of its new research and development center for military electronics. Seeing the same advantages as Motorola, other high-tech companies such as Intel and McDonnell Douglas would also move into the valley and open manufacturing operations. By 1950, over 105,000 people resided in the city and thousands more in surrounding communities. The 1950s growth was spurred on by advances in air conditioning, which allowed both homes and businesses to offset the extreme heat experienced in Phoenix and the surrounding areas during its long summers. There was more new construction in Phoenix in 1959 alone than during the period of more than 30 years from 1914 to 1946. Like many emerging American cities at the time, Phoenix's spectacular growth did not occur evenly. It largely took place on the city's north side, a region that was nearly all Caucasian. In 1962, one local activist testified at a U.S. Commission on Civil Rights hearing that of 31,000 homes that had recently sprung up in this neighborhood, not a single one had been sold to an African American. Phoenix's African American and Mexican American communities remained largely sequestered on the south side of town. The color lines were so rigid that no one north of Van Buren Street would rent to the African-American baseball star Willie Mays, in town for spring training in the 1960s. In 1964, a reporter from the New Republic wrote of segregation in these terms. Apartheid is complete. The two cities look at each other across a golf course. 1960s to present The continued rapid population growth led more businesses to the valley to take advantage of the labor pool, and manufacturing, particularly in the electronics sector, continued to grow. The convention and tourism industries saw rapid expansion during the 1960s, with tourism becoming the third largest industry by the end of the decade. In 1960 the Phoenix Corporate Center opened, at the time it was the tallest building in Arizona, topping off at 341 feet. The 1960s saw many other buildings constructed as the city expanded rapidly, including the Rosenzweig Center 1964, today called Phoenix City Square, the landmark Phoenix Financial Center 1964, as well as many of Phoenix's residential high-rises. In 1965 the Arizona Veterans Memorial Coliseum was opened at the Arizona State Fairgrounds, west of downtown. 
When Phoenix was awarded a NBA franchise in 1968, which would be called the Phoenix Suns, they played their home games at the Coliseum until 1992, after which they moved to America West Arena. In 1968, the Central Arizona Project was approved by President Lyndon B. Johnson, assuring future water supplies for Phoenix, Tucson, and the agricultural corridor in between. The following year, Pope Paul VI created the Diocese of Phoenix on December 2, by splitting the Archdiocese of Tucson, with Edward A. McCarthy as the first bishop. In the 1970s, the downtown area experienced a resurgence, with a level of construction activity not seen again until the urban real estate boom of the 2000s. By the end of the decade, Phoenix adopted the Phoenix Concept 2000 plan which split the city into urban villages, each with its own village core where greater height and density was permitted, further shaping the free market development culture. Originally, there were nine villages, but this has been expanded to 15 over the years see Cityscape below. This officially turned Phoenix into a city of many nodes, which would later be connected by freeways. The Phoenix Symphony Hall opened in 1972. Other major structures which saw construction downtown during this decade were the first National Bank Plaza, the Valley Center, the tallest building in the state of Arizona, and the Arizona Bank Building. On September 25, 1981, Phoenix resident Sandra Day O'Connor broke the gender barrier on the U.S. Supreme Court when she was sworn in as the first female justice. In 1985, the Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station, the nation's largest nuclear power plant, began electrical production. Pope John Paul II and Mother Teresa both visited the valley in 1987. There was an influx of refugees due to low-cost housing in the Sunnyslope area in the 1990s, resulting in 43 different languages being spoken in local schools by the year 2000. The new 20-story City Hall opened in 1992. Phoenix has maintained a growth streak in recent years, growing by 24.2% before 2007. This made it the second fastest growing metropolitan area in the United States, surpassed only by Las Vegas. In 2008, Squaw Peak, the second tallest mountain in the city, was renamed Piestua Peak after Army Specialist Lori Ann Piestua, an Arizonan and the first Native American woman to die in combat while serving in the U.S. military, as well as being the first American female casualty of the 2003 Iraq War. 2008 also saw Phoenix as one of the city's hardest hit by the subprime mortgage crisis, and by early 2009 the median home price was $150,000, down from its $262,000 peak in 2007. Crime rates in Phoenix have gone down in recent years, and once troubled, decaying neighborhoods such as South Mountain, Alhambra, and Maryvale have recovered and stabilized. Recently, downtown Phoenix and the Central Core have experienced renewed interest and growth, resulting in numerous restaurants, stores, and businesses opening or relocating to Central Phoenix. Geography Phoenix is in the southwestern United States, in the south-central portion of Arizona, about halfway between Tucson to the southeast and Flagstaff to the north. By car, the city is approximately 150 miles 240 kilometers north of the U.S.-Mexico border at Sonoita and 180 miles 290 kilometers north of the border at Nogales. The metropolitan area is known as the Valley of the Sun, due to its location in the Salt River Valley. It lies at a mean elevation of 1,086 feet 331 meters, in the northern reaches of the Sonoran Desert. Other than the mountains in and around the city, the topography of Phoenix is generally flat, allowing the city's main streets to run on a precise grid with wide, open-spaced roadways. Scattered, low mountain ranges surround the valley, McDowell Mountains to the northeast, the White Tank Mountains to the west, the Superstition Mountains far to the east, and both South Mountain and the Sierra Estrella to the south, southwest. Camelback Mountain, North Mountain, Sunnyslope Mountain, and Piestua Peak are located within the heart of the valley. On the outskirts of Phoenix are large fields of irrigated cropland and Native American reservation lands. The Salt River runs westward through the city of Phoenix, but the riverbed is often dry or contains little water due to large irrigation diversions. The community of Ahwatukee is separated from the rest of the city by South Mountain. 
According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 517.9 square miles, 1341 square kilometers, 516.7 square miles, 1338 square kilometers of it is land and 1.2 square miles, 0.6 square kilometers or 0.2% of it is water. Even though it is the fifth most populated city, the large area gives it a low density rate of approximately 2,797 people per square mile. In comparison, Philadelphia, the sixth most populous city, has a density of over 11,000. As with most of Arizona, Phoenix does not observe daylight saving time. In 1973, Governor Jack Williams argued to the U.S. Congress that due to air conditioning units not being used as often in the morning on standard time, energy use would increase in the evening should the state observe daylight saving time. He went on to say that energy use would also rise early in the day, because there would be more lights on in the early morning. Additionally, he said that daylight saving time would cause children to go to school in the dark. Sunrise occurs at around 7:29 a.m. on December 21 and 5:19 a.m. on June 21. Sunset occurs at around 5:25 p.m. on December 21 and 7:41 p.m. on June 21. Topic: Cityscape. Topic: Neighborhoods. Since 1979, the city of Phoenix has been divided into urban villages, many of which are based upon historically significant neighborhoods and communities that have since been annexed into Phoenix. Each village has a planning committee that is appointed directly by the city council. According to the village planning handbook issued by the city, the purpose of the village planning committees is to work with the city's planning commission to ensure a balance of housing and employment in each village, concentrate development at identified village cores, and to promote the unique character and identity of the villages." There are 15 urban villages, Ahwatukee Foothills, Alhambra, Camelback East, Central City, Deer Valley, Desert View, Encanto, Estrella, Levine, Maryvale, North Gateway, North Mountain, Paradise Valley, Rio Vista, and South Mountain. The urban village of Paradise Valley is distinct from the nearby town of Paradise Valley. Although the urban village is part of Phoenix, the town is independent. In addition to the above urban villages, Phoenix has a variety of commonly referred to regions and districts, such as Downtown, Midtown, Uptown, West Phoenix, North Phoenix, South Phoenix, Biltmore Area, Arcadia, and Sunnyslope. Climate. Phoenix has a hot desert climate, Köppen climate classification BWH, typical of the Sonoran Desert. Phoenix has long, extremely hot summers and short, mild to warm winters. The city is located within the sunniest region in the world. Measuring 3,872 hours of bright sunshine annually, Phoenix receives the most sunshine of any major city on Earth. Average high temperatures in summer are the hottest of any major city in the United States. On average, there are 107 days annually with a high of at least 100 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius including most days from late May through early October. Highs top 110 degrees Fahrenheit 43 degrees Celsius an average of 18 days during the year. On June 26, 1990, the temperature reached an all-time recorded high of 122 degrees Fahrenheit 50 degrees Celsius. Despite the city's claim to the most extreme heat in summer, however, it does not have the highest average annual temperature in the contiguous United States. In that respect, it comes second to Miami. Phoenix has an average daily temperature of 75 degrees Fahrenheit, 24 degrees Celsius, compared to Miami's 77 degrees Fahrenheit, 25 degrees Celsius. Unlike most desert locations which undergo drastic fluctuations between day and nighttime temperatures, Phoenix's diurnal temperature variation is limited by the urban heat island effect. As the city has expanded, average summer low temperatures have been steadily rising. The daily heat of the sun is stored in pavement, sidewalks, and buildings, and it is radiated back out at night. The daily normal low remains at or above 80 degrees Fahrenheit 27 degrees Celsius for an average of 67 days per summer. On July 15, 2003, Phoenix set its record for the warmest daily low temperature, at 96 degrees Fahrenheit 36 degrees Celsius. 
The city averages approximately 300 days of sunshine, or over 85% of daylight hours per year, and receives scant rainfall. The average annual total at Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport being 8.03 and 204 mm. Precipitation is sparse during most of the year, but the North American monsoon brings an influx of moisture during the summer. Historically, the monsoon officially started when the average dew point was 55 degrees Fahrenheit 13 degrees Celsius for three days in a row—typically occurring in early July. In order to increase monsoon awareness and promote safety, however, the National Weather Service decreed that starting in 2008, June 15 would be the official first day of the monsoon, and it would end on September 30. When active, the monsoon raises humidity levels and can cause heavy localized precipitation, flash floods, hail, destructive winds, and dust storms which can rise to the level of a haboob in some years. July is the wettest month of the year, 1.05 in 27 mm, while June is the driest, 0.02 in 0.51 mm. On September 8, 2014, the city of Phoenix recorded its single highest rainfall total by the National Weather Service with 3.30 in 84 mm, breaking a 75-year-old previous record of 2.91 in 74 mm, set on September 4, 1939. The September 2014 storm was created from the remnants of Hurricane Norbert which had moved up from the Gulf of California and flooded the city's major interstates and low-lying roadways, stranding hundreds of motorists. On average, dew points range from 31 degrees Fahrenheit minus 1 degree Celsius in December to 58 degrees Fahrenheit 14 degrees Celsius in August. Occasionally, dew points can rise to 76 degrees Fahrenheit 24 degrees Celsius or higher during periods of strong monsoon activity, creating especially muggy conditions in the area. Generally speaking, the annual minimum temperature in Phoenix is in the mid to low 30s. It rarely drops to 32 degrees Fahrenheit 0 degrees Celsius or below, having done so in only seven of the years between 1995 2015 on a total of 16 days. However, outlying portions of the greater Phoenix metropolitan area frequently see frost in the winter. The earliest freeze on record occurred on November 4, 1956, and the latest occurred on March 31, 1987. The all-time lowest recorded temperature in Phoenix was 16 degrees Fahrenheit minus 9 degrees Celsius on January 7, 1913, while the coldest daily high temperature ever recorded was 36 degrees Fahrenheit 2 degrees Celsius on December 10, 1898. The longest continuous stretch without a day of frost in Phoenix was over five years, from November 23, 1979, to January 31, 1985. Snow is a very rare occurrence for the city of Phoenix. Snowfall was first officially recorded in 1898, and since then, accumulations of 0.1 inches .25 centimeters or greater have occurred only eight times. The heaviest snowstorm on record dates to January 21-22, 1937, when 1 to 4 inches .5 to 10.2 centimeters fell in parts of the city and did not melt entirely for three days. The most recent significant snowfall occurred on December 6, 1998, across the northwest portions of the greater metro area. During the 1998 event, Sky Harbor reported a dusting of snow. On December 30, 2010 and February 20, 2013, Grapple fell across much of the city, although it was widely believed to be snow. Topic. Flora and fauna While some of the native flora and fauna of the Sonoran Desert can be found within Phoenix city limits, most are found in the suburbs and the undeveloped desert areas surrounding the city. Native mammal species include coyote, javelina, bobcat, mountain lion, desert cottontail rabbit, jackrabbit, antelope ground squirrel, mule deer, ringtail, coati, and multiple species of bats, such as the Mexican free-tailed bat and western pipistrelle, that roost in and around the city. There are many species of native birds, including Costa's hummingbird, Anna's hummingbird, Gamble's quail, Gila woodpecker, morning dove, white-winged dove, the roadrunner, the cactus wren, and many species of raptors, including falcons, hawks, owls, vultures such as the turkey vulture and black vulture, and eagles, including the golden and the bald eagle. The area is also home to a plethora of native reptile species including the western diamondback rattlesnake, Sonoran sidewinder, several other types of rattlesnakes, Sonoran coral snake, 
snake, dozens of species of non-venomous snakes including the Sonoran gopher snake and the California kingsnake, the Gila monster, desert spiny lizard, several types of whiptail lizards, the chukwala, desert horned lizard, western banded gecko, Sonora mud turtle, and the desert tortoise. Native amphibian species include the Couch's spadefoot toad, Chiricahua leopard frog, and the Sonoran desert toad. Phoenix and the surrounding areas are also home to a wide variety of native invertebrates, including the Arizona bark scorpion, giant desert hairy scorpion, Arizona blonde tarantula, Sonoran desert centipede, tarantula hawk wasp, camel spider, and tailless whip scorpion. Of great concern is the presence of Africanized bees, which can be extremely dangerous even lethal when provoked. The Arizona Upland subdivision of the Sonoran Desert of which Phoenix is a part has the most structurally diverse flora in the United States. One of the most well-known types of succulents, the giant saguaro cactus, is found throughout the city and its neighboring environs. Other native species are the organpipe, barrel, fishhook, sunita, prickly pear and chala cacti, ocotillo, palo verde trees and foothill and blue palo verde, California fan palm, agaves, soap tree yucca, Spanish bayonet, desert spoon, and red yucca, ironwood, mesquite, and the creosote bush. Many non-native plants also thrive in Phoenix including, but not limited to, the date palm, Mexican fan palm, pineapple palm, Afghan pine, Canary Island pine, Mexican fencepost cactus, cardon cactus, acacia, Asia, eucalyptus, aloe, bougainvillea, oleander, lantana, bottlebrush, olive, citrus, and red bird of paradise. The Greater Phoenix region is home to the only thriving feral population of rosy-faced lovebirds in the U.S. This bird is a popular birdcage pet, native to southwestern Africa. Feral birds were first observed living outdoors in 1987, probably escaped or released pets, and by 2010 the Greater Phoenix population had grown to about 950 birds. These lovebirds prefer older neighborhoods where they nest under untrimmed, dead palm tree fronds. Demographics Phoenix is the sixth most populous city in the United States according to the 2010 United States Census, with a population of 1,445,632, making it the most populous state capital in the United States. Phoenix's ranking as the sixth most populous city was a drop from the number five position it had held since the U.S. Census Bureau released population estimates on June 28, 2007. Those statistics used data from 2006, which showed Phoenix's population at 1,512,986, which put it just ahead of Philadelphia. In 2016, Phoenix regained the position of fifth most populous city, with the Census Bureau estimating its population at 1,615,017, edging out Philadelphia with a population of 1,567,872, after leading the U.S. In population growth for over a decade, the subprime mortgage crisis, followed by the recession, led to a slowing in the growth of Phoenix. There were approximately 77,000 people added to the population of the Phoenix metropolitan area in 2009, which was down significantly from its peak in 2006 of 162,000. Despite this slowing, Phoenix's population grew by 9.4% since the 2000 census a total of 124,000 people, while the entire Phoenix metropolitan area grew by 28.9% during the same period. This compares with an overall growth rate nationally during the same time frame of 9.7%, not since 1940-50, when the city had a population of 107,000, had the city gained less than 124,000 in a decade. Phoenix's recent growth rate of 9.4% from the 2010 census is the first time it has recorded a growth rate under 24% in a census decade. However, in 2016, Phoenix once again became the fastest growing city in the United States, adding approximately 88 people per day during the preceding year. The Phoenix Metropolitan Statistical Area (MSA), officially known as the Phoenix Mesa Glendale MSA, is one of 10 MSAs in Arizona and was the 14th largest in the United States with a total population of 4,192,887 as of the 2010 census. Consisting of parts of both Pinal and Maricopa counties, the MSA accounts for 65.5% of the total population of the state of Arizona. Phoenix only contributed 13% to the total growth rate of the MSA, down significantly from its 33% share during the prior decade. 
Phoenix is also part of the Arizona Sun Corridor megaregion, Mister, which is the tenth most populous of the 11 million rupees and the eighth largest by area. It had the second largest growth by percentage of the misses behind only the Gulf Coast Mister between 2000 and 2010. The population is almost equally split between men and women, with men making up 50.2% of city's citizens. The population density is 2,797.8 people per square mile, and the median age of the city is 32.2 years, with only 10.9 of the population being over 62. 98.5% of Phoenix's population lives in households with an average household size of 2.77 people. There were 514,806 total households, with 64.2% of those households consisting of families, 42.3% married couples, 7% with an unmarried male as head of household, and 14.9% with an unmarried female as head of household. 33.6% of those households have children below the age of 18. Of the 35.8% of non-family households, 27.1% of them have a householder living alone, almost evenly split between men and women, with women having 13.7% and men occupying 13.5%. Phoenix has 590,149 housing units, with an occupancy rate of 87.2%. The largest segment of vacancies is in the rental market, where the vacancy rate is 14.9%, and 51% of all vacancies are in rentals. Vacant houses for sale only make up 17.7% of the vacancies, with the rest being split among vacation properties and other various reasons. The median income for a household in the city was $47,866, and the median income for a family was $54,804. Males had a median income of $32,820 versus $27,466 for females. The per capita income for the city was $24,110, 21.8% of the population and 17.1% of families were below the poverty line. Out of the total population, 31.4% of those under the age of 18 and 10.5% of those 65 and older were living below the poverty line. According to the 2010 census, the racial breakdown of Phoenix was as follows. White, 65.9%, 46.5% non-Hispanic Black or African American, 6.5%, 6.0% non-Hispanic Native American, 2.6% Asian, 3.2%, 0.8% Indian, 0.5% Filipino, 0.5% Korean, 0.4% Chinese, 0.4% Vietnamese 0.2% Japanese, 0.2% Thai, 0.1% Burmese Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander, 0.1% Other race, 0.1% Two or more races, 1.7% Phoenix's population has historically been predominantly white. From 1890 to 1970, over 90% of the citizens were white. In recent years, this percentage has dropped, reaching 65% in 2010. However, a significant portion of this decrease can be attributed to new guidelines put out by the U.S. Census Bureau in 1980, when a question regarding Hispanic origin was added to the census questionnaire. This has led to an increasing tendency for some groups to no longer self-identify as white, and instead categorize themselves as other races. 20.6% of the population of the city was foreign-born in 2010. Of the 1,342,803 residents over five years of age, 63.5% spoke only English, 30.6% spoke Spanish at home, 2.5% spoke another Indo-European language, 2.1% spoke Asian or Islander languages, with the remaining 1.4% speaking other languages. About 15.7% of non-English speakers reported speaking English less than very well. The largest national ancestries reported were Mexican 35.9%, German 15.3%, Irish 10.3%, English 9.4%, Black 6.5%, Italian 4.5%, French 2.7%, Polish 2.5%, American Indian 2.2%, and Scottish 2.0%. Hispanics or Latinos of any race make up 40.8% of the population. 
Of these the largest groups are at 35.9% Mexican, 0.6% Puerto Rican, 0.5% Guatemalan, 0.3% Salvadoran, 0.3% Cuban. According to a 2014 study by the Pew Research Center, 66% of the population of the city identified themselves as Christians, while 26% claimed no religious affiliation. The same study says that other religions including Judaism, Buddhism, Islam, and Hinduism collectively make up about 7% of the population. In 2010, according to the Association of Religion Data Archives, which conducts religious census each 10 years, 39% of those polled in Maricopa County considered themselves a member of a religious group. Of those who expressed a religious affiliation, the area's religious composition was reported as 35% Catholic, 22% to Evangelical Protestant denominations, 16% Latter-day Saints (LDS), 14% to non-denominational congregations, 7% to mainline Protestant denominations, and 2% Hindu. The remaining 4% belong to other religions, such as Buddhism, and Judaism. While there was an overall increase in the number of religious adherents over the decade of 103,000, that did not keep pace with the overall population increase in the country during the same period, which increased by almost three-quarters of million individuals, resulting in the percentage drop. The largest aggregate increases were in the LDS a 58% increase and Evangelical Protestant churches 14% increase, while all other categories saw their numbers drop slightly, or remain static. Overall, the Catholic Church had an 8% drop, while mainline Protestant groups saw a 28% decline. Economy The early economy of Phoenix was focused primarily on agriculture and natural resources, dependent on the five C's of copper, cattle, climate, cotton, and citrus. With the establishment of the Southern Pacific Rail Line in 1926, the opening of the Union Station in 1923, and the creation of Sky Harbor Airport by the end of the decade, the city became more easily accessible. The Great Depression affected Phoenix, but Phoenix had a diverse economy and by 1934 the recovery was underway. At the conclusion of World War II, the Valley's economy surged, as many men who had undergone their military training at the various bases in and around Phoenix returned with their families. The construction industry, spurred on by the city's growth, further expanded with the development of Sun City. It became the template for suburban development in post-World War II America, and Sun City became the template for retirement communities when it opened in 1960. The city averaged a 4% annual growth rate over a 40-year period from the mid-1960s to the mid-2000s. As the national financial crisis of 2007-10 began, construction in Phoenix collapsed and housing prices plunged. Arizona jobs declined by 11.8% from peak to trough. In 2007, Phoenix had 1,918,100 employed individuals. By 2010, that number had shrunk by 226,500 to 1,691,600. By the end of 2015, the employment number in Phoenix had risen to 1.97 million, finally regaining its pre recession levels, with job growth occurring across the board. As of 2014, the Phoenix MSA had a gross domestic product GDP of just over $215 billion. The top five industries were real estate $35.5 billion, finance and insurance $18.8 billion, manufacturing $18.2 billion, retail trade $16.6 .6 billion, and health care $16.6 billion. Government, if it had been a private industry, would have been ranked third on the list, generating $18.9 billion. In Phoenix, real estate developers face few constraints when planning and developing new projects. Accordingly, the city is prone to overbuilding during times of economic prosperity. This explains the city's higher than average vacancy rates. As of 2010, the top five employment categories were office and administrative support, 17.8%, sales, 11.6%, food preparation and serving, 9%, transportation and material moving, 6.1%, and management, 5.8%. The single largest occupation is retail salespersons, which account for 3.7% of the workforce. As of January 2016, 10.5% of the workforce were government employees, a high number because the city is both the county seat and state capital. 
The civilian labor force was 2,200,900, and the unemployment rate stood at 4.6%. Phoenix is currently home to four Fortune 500 companies Electronics Corporation Avnet, mining company Freeport McMoran, retailer PetSmart, and Waste Hauler Republic Services. Honeywell's Aerospace Division is headquartered in Phoenix, and the Valley hosts many of their avionics and mechanical facilities. Intel has one of their largest sites in the area, employing about 12,000 employees, the second largest Intel location in the country. The city is also home to, the headquarters of U-Haul International, Best Western, and Apollo Group, parent of the University of Phoenix. U.S. Air, American Airlines is the largest carrier at Sky Harbor International Airport in Phoenix. Mesa Air Group, a regional airline group, is headquartered in Phoenix. The military has a significant presence in Phoenix, with Luke Air Force Base located in the western suburbs. The city was severely impacted by the effects of the subprime mortgage crash. However, Phoenix has recovered 83% of the jobs lost due to the recession. Topic: Culture Topic. Performing arts The city has numerous performing arts venues, most of which are located in and around downtown Phoenix or Scottsdale. The Phoenix Symphony Hall is home to the Phoenix Symphony Orchestra, the Arizona Opera and Ballet Arizona. The Arizona Opera Company also has intimate performances at its new Arizona Opera Center, which opened in March 2013. Another venue is the Orpheum Theater, which is home to the Phoenix Opera. Ballet Arizona, in addition to the Symphony Hall, also has performances at the Orpheum Theater as well at the Dorrance Theater. Concerts also regularly make stops in the area. The largest downtown performing art venue is the Herberger Theater Center, which houses three performance spaces and is home to two resident companies, the Arizona Theater Company and the Center Dance Ensemble. Three other groups also use the facility, Valley Youth Theater, Theater Collaborative and Actors Theater. Concerts can be attended at Talking Stick Resort Arena and Comerica Theater in downtown Phoenix, Akchin Pavilion in Maryvale, Gila River Arena in Glendale, and Gamage Auditorium in Tempe the last public building designed by Frank Lloyd Wright. Several smaller theaters including Trunk Space, the Mesa Arts Center, the Crescent Ballroom, Celebrity Theater, and Modified Arts support regular independent musical and theater performances. Music can also be seen in some of the venues usually reserved for sports, such as the Wells Fargo Arena and the University of Phoenix Stadium. Several television series have been set in Phoenix, including Alice (1976–85), the 2000s paranormal drama Medium, the 1960–61 syndicated crime drama The Brothers Brannigan, and the new Dick Van Dyke Show from 1971 to 1974. Topic: Museums. <laughs> <laughs> Dozens of museums exist throughout the valley. They include the Phoenix Art Museum, Arizona Capitol Museum, Arizona Military Museum, Hall of Flame Firefighting Museum, the Pueblo Grande Museum and Cultural Park, Children's Museum of Phoenix Arizona Science Center, and the Heard Museum. In 2010 the Musical Instrument Museum opened their doors, featuring the biggest musical instrument collection in the world, designed by Alden B. Dow, a student of Frank Lloyd Wright. The Phoenix Art Museum was constructed in a single year, opening in November 1959. The Phoenix Art Museum has the Southwest's largest collection of visual art, containing more than 17,000 works of contemporary and modern art from around the world. Interactive exhibits can be found in nearby Peoria's Challenger Space Center, where individuals learn about space, renewable energies, and meet astronauts. The Heard Museum has over 130,000 square feet (12,000 square meters) of gallery, classroom, and performance space. Some of the signature exhibits include a full Navajo Hogan, the Marine Allen Nichols collection containing 260 pieces of contemporary jewelry, the Barry Goldwater collection of 437 historic Hopi Kachina dolls, and an exhibit on the 19th century boarding school experiences of Native Americans. The Heard Museum attracts about 250,000 visitors a year. Topic: <laughs> Fine Arts. The downtown Phoenix art scene has developed in the past decade. The ArtLink organization and the galleries downtown have successfully launched a first Friday Cross Phoenix gallery opening. 
In April 2009, artist Janet Eckelman inaugurated her monumental sculpture, Her Secret is Patience, a civic icon suspended above the new Phoenix Civic Space Park, a two-city block park in the middle of downtown. This netted sculpture makes the invisible patterns of desert wind visible to the human eye. During the day, the 100-foot tall sculpture hovers high above heads, treetops, and buildings. The sculpture creates what the artist calls shadow drawings, which she says are inspired by Phoenix's cloud shadows. At night, the illumination changes color gradually through the seasons. Author Professor. Patrick Frank writes of the sculpture that most Arizonans look on the work with pride, this unique visual delight will forever mark the city of Phoenix just as the Eiffel Tower marks Paris. Architecture Phoenix is the home of a unique architectural tradition and community. Frank Lloyd Wright moved to Phoenix in 1937 and built his winter home, Taliesin West, and the main campus for the Frank Lloyd Wright School of Architecture. Over the years, Phoenix has attracted notable architects who have made it their home and have grown successful practices. These architectural studios embrace the desert climate, and are unconventional in their approach to the practice of design. They include the Paolo Soleri who created Arcasanti, Al Beadle, Will Bruder, Wendell Burnett, and Blank Studio Architectural Design Studios. Another major force in architectural landscape of the city was Ralph Hever whose firm, Hever & Nunn, designed commercial, industrial and residential structures throughout the valley. Of particular note was his trademark, Hever Home, which were affordable contemporary style tract houses. Topic tourism The tourist industry is the longest running of today's top industries in Phoenix. Starting with promotions back in the 1920s, the industry has grown into one of the top ten in the city. Due to its climate, Phoenix and its neighbors have consistently ranked among the nation's top destinations in the number of five diamond, five-star resorts. With more than 62,000 hotel rooms in over 500 hotels and 40 resorts, Greater Phoenix sees over 16 million visitors each year, the majority of whom are leisure as opposed to business travelers. Sky Harbor Airport, which serves the Greater Phoenix area, serves about 40 million passengers a year, ranking it among the 10 busiest airports in the nation. One of the biggest attractions of the Phoenix area is golf, with over 200 golf courses. In addition to the sites of interest in the city, there are many attractions near Phoenix, such as Agua Fria National Monument, Arcasanti, Casa Grande Ruins National Monument, Lost Dutchman State Park, Montezuma's Castle, Montezuma's Well, and Organ Pipe Cactus National Monument. Phoenix also serves as a central point to many of the sites around the state of Arizona, such as the Grand Canyon, Lake Havasu where the London Bridge is located, Meteor Crater, the Painted Desert, the Petrified Forest, Tombstone, Karchner Caverns, Sedona and Lowell Observatory and Flagstaff. Topic Other attractions and annual events Due to its natural beauty and climate, Phoenix has a plethora of outdoor attractions and recreational activities. The Phoenix Zoo is the largest privately owned, non-profit zoo in the United States. Since opening in 1962, the zoo has developed an international reputation for its efforts on animal conservation, including breeding and reintroducing endangered species back into the wild. Right next to the zoo, the Phoenix Botanical Gardens were opened in 1939, and are acclaimed worldwide for their exhibits and educational programs, featuring the largest collection of arid plants in the U.S. South Mountain Park, the largest municipal park in the U.S., is also the highest desert mountain preserve in the world. Other popular sites in the city are Japanese Friendship Garden, Historic Heritage Square, Phoenix Mountains Park, Pueblo Grande Museum, Tovri Castle, Camelback Mountain, Hole in the Rock, Mystery Castle, St. Mary Mary's Basilica, Taliesin West, and the Wrigley Mansion. There is a long list of annual events in and near Phoenix which celebrate the heritage of the city, as well as its diversity. Some of those are the Scottsdale Arabian Horse Show, the largest horse show in the world, Matsuri, a celebration of Japanese culture, Pueblo Grande Indian Market, an event highlighting Native American arts and crafts, Grand Menorah Lighting, an annual December event celebrating Hanukkah, Zoo Lights, an annual December evening event at the Phoenix Zoo, featuring millions of lights, the Arizona State Fair, begun in 1884, an annual fair, Scottish Gathering and Highland Games, an annual event celebrating Scottish heritage, Estrella War, an annual event celebrating medieval life, Tohono O'odham Nation Rodeo and Fair, oldest Indian rodeo in Arizona, and the Chinese Week and Culture and Cuisine Festival, an annual celebration of Chinese culture. 
Topic cuisine Like many other western towns, the earliest restaurants in Phoenix were often steakhouses. Today, Phoenix is also renowned for its Mexican food, thanks to both its large Hispanic population and its proximity to Mexico. Some of Phoenix's restaurants have a long history. The Stockyards Steakhouse dates to 1947, while Monte's La Casa Vieja Spanish for the Old House was in operation as a restaurant since the 1890s, but closed its doors November 17, 2014. Macayos, a Mexican restaurant chain, was established in Phoenix in 1946, and other major Mexican restaurants include Garcia's 1956 and Manuel's 1964. The recent population boom has brought people from all over the nation, and to a lesser extent from other countries, and has since influenced the local cuisine. Phoenix currently boasts cuisines from all over the world, such as Korean, barbecue, Cajun, Creole, Greek, Hawaiian, Irish, Japanese, sushi, Italian, fusion, Persian, Indian, South Asian, Spanish, Thai, Chinese, Southwestern, Tex Mex, Vietnamese, Brazilian, and French. The first McDonald's franchise was sold by the McDonald brothers to a Phoenix entrepreneur in 1952. Neil Fox paid $1,000 for the rights to open an establishment based on the McDonald Brothers restaurant. The hamburger stand opened in 1953 on the southwest corner of Central Avenue and Indian School Road, on the growing north side of Phoenix, and was the first location to sport the now internationally known Golden Arches, which were initially twice the height of the building. Three other franchise locations opened that year, a full two years before Ray Kroc purchased McDonald's and opened his first franchise in Chicago, Illinois. Topic sports Topic Major League Phoenix is home to several professional sports franchises, and is one of only 13 U.S. metropolitan areas to have representatives of all four major professional sports leagues, although only one of these teams actually carry the city name and two of them play within the city limits. The Phoenix Suns were the first major sports team in Phoenix, being granted a National Basketball Association NBA franchise in 1968. They had originally played at the Arizona Veterans Memorial Coliseum before moving to America West Arena in 1992. The year following their move to the new arena, the Suns made it to the NBA Finals for the second time in franchise history, losing to Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls, four games to two. The U.S. Airways Center hosted both the 1995 and the 2009 NBA All Star Games. In 1997, the Phoenix Mercury were one of the original eight teams to launch the Women's National Basketball Association. WNBA. They also play at Talking Stick Resorts Arena. They have won the WNBA championship three times, first in 2007 when they defeated the Detroit Shock, again in 2009 when they defeated the Indiana Fever, and in 2014 when they swept the Chicago Sky. The Arizona Diamondbacks of Major League Baseball began play as an expansion team in 1998. The team has played all of its home games in the same downtown park, now known as Chase Field. It is the second highest stadium in the U.S. after Coors Field in Denver, and is known for its swimming pool beyond the outfield fence. In 2001, the Diamondbacks defeated the New York Yankees four games to three in the World Series, becoming the city's first professional sports franchise to win a national championship while located in Arizona. The win was also the fastest an expansion team had ever won the World Series, surpassing the old mark of the Florida Marlins of five years. Set in 1997, the Arizona Cardinals are the oldest continuously run professional football franchise in the nation. Founded in 1898 in Chicago, they moved to Phoenix from St. Louis in 1988 and currently play in the Western Division of the National Football League's National Football Conference. Upon their move to Phoenix, the Cardinals originally played their home games at Sun Devil Stadium on the campus of Arizona State University in nearby Tempe. In 2006 they moved to the newly constructed State Farm Stadium in suburban Glendale. Since moving to Phoenix, the Cardinals have made one championship appearance, Super Bowl XLIII in 2009, where they lost 27-23 to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Sun Devil Stadium held Super Bowl XXX in 1996. State Farm Stadium hosted Super Bowl 42 in 2008 and Super Bowl 49 in 2015. The Arizona Coyotes of the National Hockey League moved to the area in 1996, formerly known as the Winnipeg Jets. 
They originally played their home games at America West Arena in downtown Phoenix before moving in December 2003 to the Jobbing.com Arena now named the Gila River Arena in Glendale. In 2018, the Alliance of American Football announced the league's Phoenix franchise, the Arizona Hotshots, would begin playing in 2019. Asterisk note, the Cardinals won two of their championships while in Chicago, pre-modern era. Other sports The Phoenix area hosts two annual college football bowl games, the Fiesta Bowl, played at State Farm Stadium, and the Motel 6 Cactus Bowl, which is held at Sun Devil Stadium though Chase Field has substituted as host while ASU's football stadium undergoes renovations. Phoenix has an indoor football team, the Arizona Rattlers of the Indoor Football League. Their games are also played at Talking Stick Resort Arena. They played in the Arena Football League from 1992 to 2016 and had won five AFL championships before leaving the league. The Greater Phoenix area is home to the Cactus League, one of two spring training leagues for Major League Baseball. With the move by the Colorado Rockies and the Diamondbacks to their new facility in the Salt River Indian community, the league is entirely based in the Greater Phoenix area. With the Cincinnati Reds' move to Goodyear, half of MLB's 30 teams are now included in the Cactus League. The Phoenix International Raceway was built in 1964 with a one-mile (1.6 oval, with a one-of-a-kind design, as well as a 2.5-mile (4.0 road course. It currently hosts several NASCAR events per season, and the annual Fall NASCAR Weekend, which includes events from four different NASCAR classes, is a huge event. After 30 years of hosting various events, especially NHRA drag racing events, Firebird International Raceway closed operations in 2013, but the NHRA reopened the venue to NHRA events in 2014 under the new name, Wild Horse Pass Motorsports Park. The city is also host to several major professional golf events, including the LPGA's Founders Cup and, since 1932, the Phoenix Open of the PGA. The Phoenix Marathon is a new addition to the city's sports scene, and is a qualifier for the Boston Marathon. The Rock and Roll Marathon series has held an event in Phoenix every January since 2004. Phoenix is also home to a soccer club, Phoenix Rising FC. Topic. Parks and recreation Phoenix is home to a large number of parks and recreation areas. The city of Phoenix includes national parks, county Maricopa County parks and city parks. Tonto National Forest forms part of the northeast boundary of the city, while the county has the largest park system in the country. The city park system was established to preserve the desert landscape in areas that would otherwise have succumbed to development and includes South Mountain Park, the world's largest municipal park with 16,500 acres 67 square kilometers. The city park system has 182 parks which contain over 41,900 acres 16,956 hectares, making it the largest municipal park system in the country. The park system has facilities for hiking, camping, swimming, horseback riding, cycling, and climbing. Some of the other notable parks in the system are Camelback Mountain, Encanto Park another large urban park and Sunnyslope Mountain, also known as S. Mountain. Papago Park in East Phoenix is home to both the Desert Botanical Garden and the Phoenix Zoo, in addition to several golf courses and the Hole in the Rock Geological Formation. The Desert Botanical Garden, which opened in 1939, is one of the few public gardens in the country dedicated to desert plants, and displays desert plant life from all over the world. The Phoenix Zoo is the largest privately owned non-profit zoo in the United States and is internationally known for its programs devoted to saving endangered species. Government In 1913, Phoenix adopted a new form of government, switching from the mayor-council system to the council-manager system, making it one of the first cities in the United States with this form of city government, where a city manager supervises all city departments and executes the policies adopted by the council. Today, Phoenix represents the largest municipal government of this type in the country. The city council consists of a mayor and eight city council members. While the mayor is elected in a citywide election, Phoenix city council members are elected by votes only in the districts they represent, with both the mayor and the council members serving four year terms. 
The current mayor of Phoenix is Thelda Williams, a councilwoman from District 1 in office on an interim basis. Thelda Williams replaced Greg Stanton, a Democrat who resigned on May 29, 2018 to run for Congress. The mayor and city council members each have equal voting power in regards to setting city policy and passing rules and regulations. The city's website was given a Sunny Award by Sunshine Review for its transparency efforts. Topic. State government facilities As the capital of Arizona, Phoenix houses the state legislature, along with numerous state government agencies, many of which are located in the state capital district immediately west of downtown. The Arizona Department of Juvenile Corrections operates the Adobe Mountain and Black Canyon schools in Phoenix. Another major state government facility is the Arizona State Hospital, operated by the Arizona Department of Health Services. This is a mental health center which is the only medical facility run by the state government. The headquarters of numerous Arizona state government agencies are in Phoenix, with many located in the state capital district. Topic. Federal government facilities The Federal Bureau of Prisons operates the Federal Correctional Institution FCI Phoenix which is within the city limits, near its northern boundary, the Sandra Day O'Connor U.S. Courthouse, the U.S. District Court of Arizona, is located on Washington Street downtown. It is named in honor of retired U.S. Supreme Court Justice Sandra Day O'Connor, who was raised in Arizona. The federal building is at the intersection of Van Buren Street and First Avenue downtown, and contains various federal field offices and the local division of the U.S. Bankruptcy Court. This building formerly housed the U.S. District Court offices and courtrooms, but these were moved in 2001 to the new Sandra Day O'Connor U.S. Courthouse. Before the construction of this building in 1961, federal government offices were housed in the historic U.S. Post Office on Central Avenue, completed in the 1930s. Topic. Crime By the 1960s crime was becoming a significant problem in Phoenix, and by the 1970s crime continued to increase in the city at a faster rate than almost anywhere else in the country. It was during this time frame when an incident occurred in Phoenix which would have national implications. On March 16, 1963, Ernesto Miranda was arrested and charged with rape. The subsequent Supreme Court ruling on June 13, 1966, Miranda v. Arizona, has led to practice in the United States of issuing a Miranda warning to all suspected criminals. With Phoenix's rapid growth, one of the prime areas of criminal activity was land fraud. The practice became so widespread that newspapers would refer to Phoenix as the Tainted Desert. These land frauds led to one of the more infamous murders in the history of the valley, when Arizona Republic writer Don Bowles was murdered by a car bomb in 1976. It was believed that his investigative reporting on organized crime and land fraud in Phoenix made him a target. Bowles was the only reporter from a major U.S. newspaper to be murdered on U.S. soil due to his coverage of a story. Max Dunlap was convicted of first-degree murder in the case, street gangs and the drug trade had turned into public safety issues by the 1980s, and the crime rate in Phoenix continued to grow. After seeing a peak in the early and mid-1990s, the city has seen a general decrease in crime rates. The Maricopa County jail system is the fourth largest in the world. The violent crime rate peaked in 1993 at 1146 crimes per 100,000 people, while the property crime rate peaked a few years earlier, in 1989, at 9,966 crimes per 100,000. In the most recent numbers from the FBI, 2012, those rates currently stand at 637 and 4,091, respectively. Since their peak in 2003, murders have dropped from 241 to 114 in 2014. In 2001 and 2002, Phoenix ranked first in the nation in vehicle thefts, with over 22,000 and 25,000 cars stolen each year, respectively. It has declined every year since then, eventually falling to 7,200 in 2014, a drop of almost 70% during that time frame. The Phoenix MSA has dropped to 70th in the nation in terms of car thefts in 2012. As the first decade of the new century came to a close, Arizona had become the gateway to the U.S. for drug trafficking. Another crime issue related to the drug trade are kidnappings. In the late 2000s, Phoenix earned the title, Kidnapping Capital of the USA. 
The majority of the kidnapped are believed to be victims of human smuggling, or related to illegal drug trade, while the kidnappers are believed to be part of Mexican drug cartels. Education Public education in the Phoenix area is provided by 33 school districts. There are 21 elementary school districts, which contain over 215 elementary schools, and they are paired with four high school districts, which have 31 high schools serving Phoenix. Three of the high school districts Glendale Union, Tempe Union and Tolleson Union only partially serve Phoenix. With over 27,000 students, and spread over 220 square miles, the Phoenix Union High School District is one of the largest high school districts in the country, containing 16 schools and nearly 3,000 employees. In addition, there are four unified districts, which cover grades K-12, which add an additional 58 elementary schools and four high schools to Phoenix's educational system. Of those four, only the Paradise Valley District completely serves Phoenix. Phoenix is also served by an expanding number of charter schools, with well over 100 operating in the city. Post-secondary education Arizona State University is the largest institution of higher education in the region. Its main campus is in Tempe. ASU also has campuses in Northwest Phoenix ASU West Campus, Downtown Phoenix ASU Downtown Campus, Mesa ASU Polytechnic Campus, and Glendale Thunderbird School of Global Management. ASU is one of the largest public universities in the U.S., with a 2012 student enrollment of 72,254. An independent, LCME-accredited, four-year medical school of the University of Arizona College of Medicine is located near ASU's downtown Phoenix campus. There is also a small satellite Phoenix Biomedical Campus for Northern Arizona University based in Flagstaff. The Maricopa County Community College District includes ten community colleges and two skills centers throughout Maricopa County, providing adult education and job training. Phoenix College, part of the district, was founded in 1920 and is the oldest community college in Arizona and one of the oldest in the country. The city is also home to numerous other institutions of higher learning. Notable institutions include, Barrow Neurological Institute, the world's largest neurological disease treatment and research institution, Grand Canyon University, a private Christian university initially founded in 1949 as a non-profit school, it now operates as a for-profit institution, the University of Phoenix is the nation's largest for-profit university with over 300,000 students at campuses throughout North America, as well as online, and the Arizona Summit Law School, a private, for-profit law school located in downtown Phoenix. Topic. Media The first newspaper in Phoenix was the weekly Salt River Valley Herald, established in 1878, which would change its name the following year to the Phoenix Herald. The paper would go through several additional name changes in its early years before finally settling on the Phoenix Herald, which still exists today in an online form. Today, the city is served by one major daily newspaper, the Arizona Republic, which along with its online entity, AsCentral.com, serves the greater metropolitan area. The Jewish News of Greater Phoenix is an independent weekly newspaper established in 1948. In addition, the city is also served by numerous free neighborhood papers and alternative weeklies such as the Phoenix New Times The East Valley Tribune, which primarily serves the cities of the East Valley, and Arizona State University's The State Press. The Phoenix metro area is served by many local television stations and is the largest designated market area DMA in the Southwest, and the 12th largest in the U.S., with over 1.8 million homes, 1.6% of the total U.S. The major network television affiliates are KNXV15, ABC, KPHO5, CBS, KPNX12, NBC, KSAZ10, Fox, KASW61, The CW, KUTP45, My Network TV, and KAET8, PBS, operated by Arizona State University. Other network television affiliates operating in the area include KPAZ 21, TBN, KTVWDT 33, Univision, KFPHDT, Unimas, KTAZ 39, Telemundo, KDPH 48, Daystar, and KPPX TV 51, Ion. 
KTVK3 3TV and KAZT7 TV are independent television stations operating in the metro area. KSAZ TV, KUTP, KPAZ TV, KTVWDT, KFPHDT, KTAZ, KDPHLP, and KPPX TV are network owned and operated stations. Many major feature films and television programs have been filmed in the city. From the opening sequences in Psycho, to the night attack by the aliens in 1953's The War of the Worlds, to freeway scenes in Little Miss Sunshine, Phoenix has been the location for numerous major feature films. Other notable pictures filmed at least partially in Phoenix include Raising Arizona, A Home at the End of the World, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, Days of Thunder, The Gauntlet, The Grifters, Waiting to Exhale and Bus Stop. The radio airwaves in Phoenix cater to a wide variety of musical and talk radio interests. Stations include classic rock formats of Cool FM and KSLX FM, to pop stations like Kayot and alternative stations like KDKB FM, to the talk radio of KFYI AM and KKNT AM, the pop and top 40 programming of KZZP FM and KALV FM, and the country sounds of KMLE FM. With its large Hispanic population there are numerous Spanish stations, such as KCCF FM, COT FM, and KOMR FM. Topic infrastructure Topic Transportation Topic Air Phoenix is served by Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport IATA, PHX, ICAO, KPHX, one of the ten busiest airports in the United States, serving over 110,000 people on over 1,000 flights per day. The airport is centrally located in the metro area near several major freeway interchanges east of downtown Phoenix. The airport serves more than 100 cities with non-stop flights. Air Canada, British Airways, Volaris, and WestJet are among several international carriers as well as American carrier American Airlines, which maintains a hub at the airport, providing flights to destinations such as Canada, Costa Rica, Mexico, and London. Domestically, in addition to American, other carriers include Alaska Airlines, Delta, JetBlue, Southwest, and United. The Phoenix Mesa Gateway Airport (IATA: AZA, ICAO: Kiwa) in neighboring Mesa also serves the area's commercial air traffic. It was converted from Williams Air Force Base, which closed in 1993. The airport has recently received substantial commercial service with Allegiant Air opening a hub operation at the airport with non stop service to over a dozen destinations. Smaller airports that primarily handle private and corporate jets include Phoenix Deer Valley Airport, located in the Deer Valley District of North Phoenix, and Scottsdale Airport, located just east of the Phoenix Scottsdale border. There are also other municipal airports including Glendale Municipal Airport, Falcon Field Airport in Mesa, and Phoenix Goodyear Airport. Topic rail and bus Amtrak served Phoenix Union Station until 1996 when the Union Pacific Railroad up threatened to abandon the route between Yuma, Arizona and Phoenix. Amtrak rerouted trains to Maricopa, 30 miles 48 kilometers south of downtown Phoenix, where passengers can board the Texas Eagle Los Angeles San Antonio Chicago and Sunset Limited Los Angeles New Orleans. Though UP ultimately retained the trackage, Amtrak did not return, although the station remains. Amtrak thruway buses connect Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport to Flagstaff for connection with the Los Angeles Chicago Southwest Chief. Phoenix is also served by Greyhound Bus Service, which stops at 24th Street near the airport. Valley Metro provides public transportation throughout the metropolitan area, with its trains, buses, and a ride-share program. 3.38% of workers commute by public transit. Valley Metro's 20-mile light rail project, called Valley Metro Rail, through north-central Phoenix, downtown, and eastward through Tempe and Mesa, opened December 27, 2008. Future rail segments of more than 30 miles 48 kilometers are planned to open by 2030. Topic. Roads and freeways Phoenix auto traffic depends on both freeways and surface streets. Freeways fall under the auspices of the Arizona Department of Transportation ADOT. Phoenix ranks first in the nation in the quality of its urban freeways, and the state as a whole ranks first in the nation in the quality of bridges. While being the fifth most populous city in the nation, Phoenix's freeways do not suffer from the same type of congestion seen in other large cities. 
In fact, in a recent study, there is not a single stretch of freeway in Phoenix ranked in the 100 worst freeways for either congestion or unreliability. Part of the reason for this is the extensive freeway system in the city, due to the majority of that system being funded by local, rather than federal funds, through a half-cent general sales tax measure approved by voters in 1985. Another offshoot of this local funding is that Phoenix is the largest city in the United States to have two interstate highways but no three digit interstates. As of 2005, the metropolitan area of Phoenix contains one of the nation's largest and fastest growing freeway systems, consisting of over 1,405 lane miles. 2 lane km. The freeway system is a mix of interstate, U.S., and state highways, which include Interstate 10, Interstate 17, U.S. 60 Loop 101. Loop 202 SR 51, SR 143, and Loop 303. There are still major additions to routes 101, 202 and 303 underway, as well as several other smaller projects around the valley. State routes 87, 85, and 74 connect Phoenix with other areas of the Valley and Arizona. The street system in Phoenix and some of its suburbs is laid out in a grid system, with most roads oriented either north-south or east-west, and the zero point of the grid being the intersection of Central Avenue and Washington Street. The one notable exception to this is the diagonal Grand Avenue, which runs northwest-southeast. The original plan was for the east-west streets to be named after U.S. presidents, with the north-south streets named after Native Americans, but the north-south streets were quickly changed to numbers, with numbered avenues running to the west of Central, and numbered streets to its east. Major arterial streets are spaced 1 mile 1 kilometers apart, divided into smaller blocks approximately every 1 8 mile 200 meters. For example, Scottsdale Road, being the 7,200 block east, lies 9 miles 14 kilometers to the east of Central Avenue 72 eighths, freeways and state highways in Phoenix Topic. Alternate forms of transportation The Maricopa Association of Governments has a bicycle advisory committee working to improve conditions for bicycling on city streets and off-road paths. Bicycling Magazine ranked Phoenix the 15th most bicycle-friendly city of 50 cities in the United States with a population greater than 100,000. Utilities Being located in the desert, Phoenix relies on a water supply delivered to the city via a system of canals which divert water from the region's rivers and lakes, with the largest portion of the city's water coming from the Colorado River through the Central Arizona Projects Canal. The city's electrical needs are served primarily by Arizona Public Service, although some customers receive their electricity from the Salt River Project The main sources of electrical generation are nuclear, and coal power plants. Arizona is home to the Palo Verde Nuclear Generating Station, the largest nuclear generating facility in the United States. SERP is also the largest water provider in Phoenix. Topic health care In 2011, the last year for which information is available, Phoenix had a slightly younger population than the country as a whole. While the United States had 13.3% of its population over the age of 65, Phoenix's percentage stood significantly lower, at 8.1%. Phoenix's percentage of 18.8% in the next age group, 45-64 was also a great deal lower than the national average of 26.6%. This results in 73% of Phoenix's population being 44 or younger, as compared to the national percentage of 60. In 2010, the last year for nationally reported figures, Phoenix was at or below national levels for most reportable diseases, with the exception of both hepatitis A and B, where they were slightly over the national average 0.8 and 1.8 to 0.5 and 1.1%, respectively. In most major categories, Phoenix had a lower incidence of death than the rest of the nation. Only deaths due to Alzheimer's 29.7 to 27.2 deaths per 100,000 and prenatal conditions 5.3 to 3.8 deaths per 100,000 were slightly above the national average. Deaths due to HIV and liver disease were exactly at the national average of 2.5 and 10.8 respectively. 
However, in several major categories, Phoenix had significantly lower indices of death. Deaths by cancer stood at only 57% (106) of the national average of 184.6 deaths per 100,000. Deaths due to heart disease, 56.1% of the national rate of 249.8 per 100,000. Cancer and heart disease were the two top causes of death in the country. Low weight births, 7.5%, were below the national average of 8.1%, yet infant mortality, 7.2%, was higher than the rest of the US, 6.1%. Births to teen mothers were significantly higher than the rest of the country, sitting at 12.2% as compared to 8.4% nationally. The Phoenix metropolitan area is serviced by 56 hospitals and medical centers. The Mayo Clinic, a not for profit medical practice and medical research group based in Rochester, Minnesota. Phoenix is one of two other locations with Mayo Clinics, the other being Jacksonville, Florida. It is the first and largest integrated not for profit medical group practice in the world. Mayo Clinic has been near or at the top of the U.S. News and World Report list of best hospitals for more than 20 years. St. Joseph's Hospital and Medical Center is part of Dignity Health, formerly Catholic Healthcare West, one of the largest healthcare systems in the western United States. St. Joseph's is a not for profit hospital with special advocacy for the poor and underserved. John C. Lincoln North Mountain Hospital is a general medical and surgical hospital, which performed nearly at the level of nationally ranked U.S. News Best Hospitals in four adult specialties. The Phoenix Children's Hospital is nationally ranked in five pediatric specialties according to U.S. News & World Report. It is a 425-bed children's teaching hospital. Arizona Heart Institute, opened in 1971, is known internationally as one of the first freestanding outpatient clinics dedicated exclusively to cardiovascular health. Banner Health is a non-profit health system in the United States, based in Phoenix. It operates 23 hospitals as well as specialized facilities. The health system is the second largest employer in Arizona, behind Walmart, employing more than 35,000. Banner Health was created in 1999 through a merger of Lutheran Health Systems, based in North Dakota, and Samaritan Health System, based in Phoenix. Of the top 10 rated hospitals in the city, top 12 in the state, four are Banner Hospitals. Barrow Neurological Institute BNI at St. Joseph's Hospital and Medical Center is the world's largest dedicated neurosurgical center and a leader in neurosurgical training, research, and patient care. More operative neurosurgical procedures take place at BNI than at any other institution in the United States. Notable people Sister cities With the creation of the Phoenix Sister Cities PSC organization in 1972, Phoenix became a member of the International Sister City Movement. It would take the organization several years to become official, not filing for Articles of Incorporation until 1975, and not entering into their first sister city agreement until 1976, with Hermosillo, Mexico. The organization's mission statement states their purpose is to "...create people-to-people -people relationships between the residents of Phoenix and its sister cities through commercial, educational, cultural and artistic exchange programs and events that create and sustain global, long-term, international partnerships and business opportunities for the citizens of Phoenix." Phoenix has ten sister cities, as designated by the Phoenix Sister Cities Commission and Sister Cities International, shown in the table below. Phoenix and Prague have shared a capital cities relationship since May 1991, which was expanded to sister city status in 2013. See also Notes References Further reading Gober, Patricia Metropolitan Phoenix. University of Pennsylvania Press. ISBN 978-0-8122-3899-0. Grady, Patrick Out of the Ruins. Arizona Pioneer Press. ISBN 978-0-615-55511-9. Johnson, G. Wesley Jr. 
Phoenix in the 20th Century, Essays in Community History. Diane Pub Co. ISBN 0-7881-6249-7. Johnson, G. Wesley, Jr. Phoenix, Valley of the Sun. Continental Heritage Press. ISBN 0-932986-33-1. Larson, Kelly L., Gustafson, Annie, Hurt, Paul April 2009. Insatiable Thirst and a Finite Supply, An Assessment of Municipal Water Conservation Policy in Greater Phoenix, Arizona, 1980–2007." Journal of Policy History. 21 107–137. doi, 10.1017, Lavin, Patrick Arizona, An Illustrated History. Hippocrene Books, Inc. ISBN 0-7818-0852-9. Luckingham, Bradford Phoenix, The History of a Southwestern Metropolis. University of Arizona Press. ISBN 0-8165-1116-0. Luckingham, Bradford Phoenix, The History of a Southwestern Metropolis. University of Arizona Press. ISBN 0-8165-1116-0. Montero, Loreen, Steubing, Michael, Turner, Corey June 2008. General Historic Properties Treatment Plan for Archaeological Projects Within the Boundaries of the City of Phoenix, Arizona. City of Phoenix, Street Transportation Department. Shermer, Elizabeth 2013. Sunbelt Capitalism Phoenix and the Transformation of American Politics. Philadelphia, University of Pennsylvania Press. ISBN 0-8122-4470-2. Vandermeer, Philip Desert Visions and the Making of Phoenix, 1860-2009. Univ of New Mexico Press. ISBN 978-0-8263-4891-3. Scholarly History Online Review Vandermeer, Philip. Vandermeer, Mary Phoenix Rising, The Making of a Desert Metropolis. Heritage Media Corp. ISBN 1-886483-69-8, Well Illustrated Popular History External links Official website Visit Phoenix Com, Greater Phoenix Convention and Visitors Bureau Phoenix City Data Geographic Data related to Phoenix, Arizona at OpenStreetMap